All right, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Q, back at it again. Finally, another video. I know it's been about three, four weeks or something like that, but I came up with an idea and I think I'm gonna be back and more consistent. Actually, I know. But if somehow you still do not know, I'm uploading more consistently on Splitmine, but I will be back here probably two to three times a week from now on. And the reason for that being is because of this new announcement that you are going to hear right now. So I'm actually gonna be starting a series on this channel called The Placement Hunt. 2021 is coming up, actually it's here right now. And my most important goal is to get my first big placement. And I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do, the steps I take to make this happen. And in each episode, we're gonna do something different. And with episode number one starting today, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys three different drum bounces that you can do on your beats to make the rappers more intrigued something that's loose and allows the artist to stay in pocket and rap over it. So without any further ado, let's jump into FL. All right, so I got a pretty much blank FL session pulled up right here, but I have three loops in it. And basically each one is just gonna allow me to do a different drum bounce. I got, I'll let you guys listen to each one. So for the first one called Big Order, I got 119. I'm thinking more of like a wheezy drum bounce here, probably a spins 808 and just, you know, that, that wheezy sound. And then next up, I got kind of like that virtual sound, which you would hear like some new little Uzi stuff like that. And then down here, we got Tsunami, which again is kind of going to be like one of the a wheezy bounce. But the first one is more of like your little baby stuff. And then the second one is more like little keyed. So I'm thinking like a spins 808 would work better on that first loop. The third loop down here, I'm thinking like something more like a Zay 808. But this is what that sounds like. The first thing I'm going to do is start out with this big order. Start out with the clap. Clap is super simple. I'm also going to be using a drum kit of mine that is available on drumify.com. I will have a link in the bio. So if you like any of these sounds, you know where to go. So like I said, we're starting out with the clap. rose clap sounds like it'll work so i'm gonna drag that in then i have this midi which is the default pattern for every clap you would do now we're gonna go over to the hi-hat i'm gonna be using hit two what i'm gonna do here is just bring that out knob up and i'm gonna go to this miscellaneous functions tab and bring the shift knob up now we're just gonna make a simple two-step going to the piano roll change it to one sixth beat and we're gonna try and make some cool rolls the reason i'm using one sixth is because wheezy tends to use this pattern a lot we do a third step to so And if you actually go to the velocities, highlight the part you want to mess with. And you right click at the top velocity and bring it down to the lowest you can make this little like fade perfect so i like that exactly how it is all i'm going to literally do here duplicate this two bar section over twice and then let's see in the second four bars if i could do a little something different i like that just adding that simple little bounce right there all right, let's see if we can add a snare. Alright, so I already like what we have going for like the basic drum bounce, so I'm gonna just add a spins 808, the cut itself, and we're gonna go ahead and try and make a pattern.
that to 10. I'm gonna pan it to the left a little. Basically what I would do is I'm gonna add my signature kick, route that to four. And I would have a section where it's just the 808 and then another section where the kick comes in. And it's only gonna be on the first beat. And then a super secret wheezy bounce right here. Go ahead and normalize this. Route this to mixed track number 11. Place it right there on the first beat, and you got the wheezy bounce. So now what I'm gonna do, literally delete all these, delete this first loop. And we're going to get that second one going. So I'm going to hit T, grab that. Listen to it again real quick. Actually bring the BPM up to 155 because that's what the loop is. Perfect. So I'm going to cut this up. And then I'm going to take this bass out just because we don't need it. Because we're just making that bounce. And I'm going to bring a pattern into here. And let's get started. As per usual, we're starting with the clap. Using this one called bounce. Use that default MIDI. Just adjust this out now because it has that little tail. Perfect. For hi -hat. I think I'm going to just do a simple two step pattern for this. Here is going to be the snares. A little bounce like this. And then for these virtual loops, I've been using this 808 from my kit called Edition so far. It's like, I mean, my favorite beats have been that stuff off like that new Uzi, that virtual stuff, like the type of stuff that you hear working on dying making. But, uh, so this is the cool part. There's a pretty unique 808 bounce that you could do with these type of beats. I'll show you. So that seems to be the chord progression. Bring this down an octave. Duplicate this over. All right, so I'm gonna hit Control L just to make the notes hit each other, aka legato, and then show you some cool things you can do. So I'm gonna cut it right here, and I'm gonna duplicate the note by shift clicking it, bringing it up an octave. I'm gonna bring this bottom note down, the velocity. And I'm making a slide note. So I do that by selecting it and hitting this button right here. Actually, you can just double click it and hit it right there. And you can do these cool, like, one step bounces. Just like this. Super simple. Sounds really cool. Though. Perfect. There we go. Now you got that virtual working on dying bounce. Usually you won't hear kicks on this, but like I said, pretty simple. Perfect, let's go to the next part. So I'm going to delete everything again. Bring this up, change the BPM to 121. This is the BPM of this loop. Go back into that pattern. We're going to delete all of that. We're going to do the same thing as usual. I'm going to hit T, unmute that. We're going to chop this up. We're going to take that bass out, bring in the pattern. Give it a four bars just like we have been doing. And then we're going to start with the clap again. So I'm going to be using Lux. Actually default. Use that default snare pattern. I'm gonna bring it down. Start 
start with a two step. And then I'm not up just a tad. And we're gonna be using that one six roll again. Just actually add an open hat. Is this one simple wheezy snare or open hat? Just adjust that out knob. We're gonna be using addition again. Maybe we're gonna use this one called goaded. Like that wheezy little keyed type bounce. Uh, I know a common 808 pattern for this these type of beats is something like this. So I gotta turn off the loop points right here. First thing I gotta do is just set the scale highlighting to E minor. You could even do that uh, that same wheezy bounce we did before where we add that secret wheezy sauce. Just toss that in there, make sure you normalize it. I don't really think that's gonna be too well though. But there we go. Third and final bounce. All right guys, so that is the end of the video. And if there's one thing that I would say you should make sure you retain from this video is keep your beats simple. A lot of you guys might not be getting uh, placements just because your beats are a little too complicated and a rapper might actually like it, but he goes to rap on it and it's just, there's too much. But I mean, hey, who am I to talk? I have no placements either. But as I said before, this was episode one of the placement hunt. So stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you hit that like button. If you learned something, leave a comment. Let me know what you wanna see in the next episode. Also, be sure to subscribe. I know a lot of you aren't subscribed. I mean, check this out. If you guys are looking for any sounds, check the link in the bio. I got tons of stuff down there. Also, follow me on all social medias. Keep up to date with me. Hit me with a DM on Instagram. You never know what could happen. But other than that, I am out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.